Hey everybody, Sam back once again and it's now time to show you the messaging application on the Galaxy S3 and some little cool, well, cool little uh, things that I like about it, like customization. So anyway, let's jump into it, so let's uh, zoom out of there, let's flip her over and let's jump into the application itself, so let's unlock. So going to the messaging application, I've got the sound on for a reason which we'll find out in a moment. So we'll give you a quick look around it, so obviously you can see it's basically your bog standard kind of looking, you know, your touch was a it's exactly the same as you would expect it to look. If you want to add like a little um like add like a picture, you capture a picture, video, capture a video, audio, record audio, S memo, S planner, location or contacts. Obviously you can add any of those and attach it to a text message. But the main things that actually come in here are in the settings. So first of all we'll show you you can actually change the look of it so you get your bubble style and you can change how you want them to look. So that's what it looks like when it's stock and these are the different options you get. So I'll just put the phone down so you can see them. So if you want yours not to look like that, you can go, um, well, I'd rather have it looking like that. And the ones to come in, I want it looking like that. Or actually, I want it looking like that, or maybe even that. So then obviously you can just click save. I personally like the, the kind of yellow, and I like the blue, so I like to leave it as it is. But if we want to change it, let's say I it, I click save, then my text message look like that. So it kind of gives you a bit of you know, a bit of customization. Background style is exactly the same. You get the standard black. You got like a bit of a, it's kind of like a bluish kind of color, more like a grey kind of green. Nice kind of a kind of whitish background, and one that's kind of it's got like little um, little kind of squares. So if there, the options you get are just standard. So if I click save on that as well, and if I jump out of there, and let's say I want to go into one of these, so I jump into that. As you can see, it looks like that instead. So you know, that's a pretty cool option. Let's jump back into the settings. Um, and this is this is one of the big ones. So if you've got if you you know you're not too sure if you've got bad eyesight, I just want to change it when you're in a text message. If you see that, use the volume key, change the text size using the volume key. And this is something I think is really cool. So if I start typing a text message in, so as an example, I'll just put Sam is awesome. Right? But if I want to make that bigger, use the volume key. On the off the left hand side, and boom, you make it bigger. So there's three different stages. I know there's more. So there's one, two, three, four, five, five different stages. So you can have it in you know, a really big, or you can have it really small. So if you've got really good eyesight, or if you've got really bad eyesight, and there you go. And I've got to admit, I think that's a cool function, and it kind of sets it apart from other phones that I've seen in the past. It kind of gives you that bit more of an ex you know, accessibility option. Uh, my buddy Richard will be happy with something like that. So yeah, you know, that's pretty cool. Let's jump back into the settings and let's see what else is available. Um, I'll be honest with you, the rest of the stuff, it's all the kind of standard affair. Obviously like your delete text messaging, your limits, your templates, delivery reports, manage your SIM cards, again, multimedia kind of stuff, creation mode push messages, CB activation, and your notifications. And just while we're here, I'll show you what mine actually sounds like. Excuse me, boss. You have a text message. Yep, there we go. I get my, I get my phone to call me boss. <laughs> yeah, I know. Anyway, that's it. That's the stop messaging application. A lot of people wanted to know, you know, if there's anything different about it. It looks the same as the last one. But obviously it's got quite a few little tweaks in there to customise it a little bit more. Um, and obviously you can actually, you know, make that text bigger or smaller. Anyway people, that's it. That's the Galaxy S3 messaging application. Any other questions about the Galaxy S3, if you want a video on anything specific, drop me a line at samjpl on Twitter. Email me, viewers at samjpl.com. Leave those comments down below, because I do read every one of your comments that does go through. Um, and that's it everyone. Again, I appreciate your video. If you appreciate me doing these videos, don't forget to leave that like. You know, again, that does help everyone in my videos. And subscribe if you're not subscribed, because we've got loads more Galaxy free content, as well as other stuff down the road. Anyway, I'm going to get off this one, and again, I'll see you in a future video. Cheers, everyone.